to the Fraser Valley housing crisis, another provincial rest area along Highway 1 is seeing a surge in campers. Among them, a couple with their young child who say they can't afford to live anywhere else. CTV's Michelle Bernaro has the story. The Coal Road rest area next to Highway 1 is jammed with dozens of RVs. Chris lives in one of them with his girlfriend and their one-year-old boy. I hate it. I'm embarrassed. I hate it. I don't like it. But what other option do I have? He says affordable rentals for the three of them and their dog are impossible to find. I was just looking on Craigslist today and a two-bedroom place is like $2,800. How am I supposed to afford that? Overnight camping isn't allowed here, but that isn't a deterrent for those desperate for a place to stay, like Darren Heath, who's on a disability income. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and I don't get bothered. When you, when you live paycheck to paycheck, one small bump in the road can set you into homelessness. A place to, to park my trailer at a campsite. Expensive, nothing available. I looked for like eight months before I ended up moving it out here. We're told that people have been living at this rest stop for as long as six years, but also that the number of campers has increased dramatically in just the last couple of months. That could be in part because of other homeless camps shutting down. So far, uh, these people are uh, a bit more peaceful than uh, 22. A 79-year-old Danny Holmes moved here last month after campers were forced to leave the Island 22 homeless encampment near Chilliwack. This rest area sits on provincially owned land. The province says it's aware of long-term camping and knows more affordable housing is needed. We have opened or started construction on more than 540 new affordable homes in the community since 2017. We continue to advocate for, um, you know, especially for BC housing, for rent subsidies. Um, there, you know, it, it breaks your heart when you hear that there's young families that are not able to afford. Families like the one living in this trailer. Which is more important, our child's upbringing or a nice house? Chris says right now he's doing the best he can. Michelle Brunoro, CTV News.